One day, Thomas, Percy, and Phineas were helping Ferb and Isabella shunt freight cars in the sidings. They liked shunting. It was fun playing with freight cars. Unlike Thomas, who was always cheeky, Ferb and Isabella would come up quietly and give them a push. Then they would stop, and the silly freight cars would go bumping into one another. Oh! they cried. Whatever is happening? The five engines played until there were no more freight cars left. Then they rest at the sidings. Phew! Thank goodness the job is done for today. For a minute there, I thought we would never get it finished. This is hard work after all. Yeah, but still, thank you guys so much for helping me and Ferb with the extra shunting. As Thomas was following with with his train, he came across another red signal and had no choice but to stop once again. This made him cross. Oh, great! I'm gonna be late again! Come on, you stupid mountain! Can't you help me out here? Sorry, Thomas, but I'm a mountain. I just kind of stand here. What was that for? Hey! It's the track that leads to the Forbidden Mountain that Edward told me about earlier. I wonder what I'll find there. Thomas rattled down the other line. The track was covered in thick brown bushes. They scrunched and scratched as Thomas shuffed through. Whew! No one has been down this line for a long time! Then, Thomas gasped. He arrived seeing the Forbidden Mountain in the distance. That looks like the mountain from yesterday. At the end of each day, Thomas comes home very exhausted. Percy felt a little tired himself. Ugh. What a day, Percy. Ugh. Tell me about it, Thomas. I'm gonna take like five tons of mail for this past week. But luckily, I managed to get them done this afternoon. And I got caught up on the latest episode of Family Movie Collaboration. Ugh. Yes, I know, it's a shameful plug for our Family Movie Collaboration, but I'm sorry, it's just really good, and I think more people should watch it. Well, that just happened. I really don't know why so much random stuff happened these days. Oh, has Sir Topham had given me anything for tomorrow? I think he has. Oh, hold on thought. Here he is now. Good evening, Thomas and Percy. I hope I didn't disturb you two. Oh, no, sir. No, you didn't. Good. Thomas, I have one more job for you this week. Meanwhile, back at Mafford Station, Spencer, Percy, Whiff, 
Edward, Phineas, Ferb, and Isabella were waiting a long time for Thomas. Ugh. Where is Thomas? He's late. Give him some time, Spencer. He'll be here at any minute now. Yeah, right. Not unlike the time I got into a terrible yet weird accident two weeks ago. Explanation, Spencer? Glass, sir. Double pain, sir. Okay, uh, that was weird. And awkward. <coughs> sir Topham Hap was having breakfast in his office. But then the telephone rang. 